Hey guys, Ron with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. Today is, uh, I think it's going to be, <coughs> I'm trying to keep all my numbers straight here. I think this is going to be part 54. The, so this is video number 54, it's really video 56, but number 54 of the Cross Country Collection, uh, Digging for Gold episode number... 29 and uh, I have not looked through this box. I have taken the top off up in Connecticut. I saw it. It was a whole bunch of crap. It didn't look like Jordan stuff, but it's all 90 stuff and a lot of them are in screw downs, but they're the recessed screw down. So it should be okay. Uh, I have no idea what's in here. Uh, I, like most of these boxes I look through, some of them have labels. This one, it, it, I couldn't tell what was in there. So I just labeled it miscellaneous ship because at that time I planned to ship the thing back in, uh, in an airplane, uh, a FedEx airplane. Uh, but I ended up driving it back, put it in my back room at my house. So I'm now looking at it for the first time. It's heavy as hell. There's a bunch of cards that are in screw downs. I have no idea what's in here. It could be uh, all Christian Leitner cards. I have no clue. We're going to open it together. Uh, I have not completely struck out yet on any of these Digging for Gold episodes. So I hope to keep the streak alive today. Uh, it should be interesting. If It's funny because uh, Bob, the seller, uh, felt like some cards were worthy to be put in screw downs like back then we thought well he thought i wasn't putting cards in screw downs but he was putting cards in screw downs based on what he thought were the most valuable cards so it's funny to see the disparity between what we thought was valuable back then stackhouse grant hill second year cards stuff like that and you know they're basically some of these are worthless today antoine walker stuff you know so it's kind of funny to see that uh but uh, we'll see there's a bunch of screw downs it's a heavy it's a heavy box it's a big two row box we'll get through the whole box today it may take five minutes if the cards are trash it may take uh, 45 minutes i have no idea hopefully you guys enjoy the video and we can kind of explore through this together uh i am um, just to give you an update i'm probably 40% of the way through, uh, and uh, I am pre-recording all of these videos. So you're going to see this sometime in late January, early February. But keep in mind, I'm recording this on December 11th. Uh, so that's how far ahead I am. And I'm posting about three to four cross-country collection videos a week, leaving a gap in there. So it's not all cross-country collection. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the last three months. By the time you see this, I'm recording this uh, 60 days before it's going to release pretty much just about. So enjoy the video. Wish me luck. Let's see what we got in here. PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. All right, here we go, digging for gold. Uh, as I mentioned uh, in the introduction, opening this for the first time, really, I've opened it before, but I just looked, I, I did this, I flipped, I was like, not Jordan, boom, send it. Uh, so this is stuff that I brought back in the car. I haven't looked at it since it's been in my back room. I just wrote on here, ship back miscellaneous number one when I thought I was going to send it via FedEx. And you can see Bob wrote on here, this is the least descriptive he's ever been. Mixed basketball number two, various, various. So we don't know what we're about to look at. Let's look at it together. I'm going to move the box. It's very heavy. There's a lot of cards in here. I'm going to move it over here to the side. We're going to get through this whole box today. It might take an hour. It might take five minutes. There is a ton, a ton of, uh, of screw downs. So I'm just going to grab a chunk at a time. Um, so first one is this little snap down. It's a, uh, it's got a really bad corner, but this is an Alonzo Morning Ultra uh, rookie card. Okay, so no value there, no value there. Uh, but I'm just going to grab the next chunk of screw downs. Uh, is this a showstopper set? It is. It's a showstopper set. So interesting. Um, a little Jordan uh, insert, not a huge Jordan insert. In the PSA 10, it's pretty tough to find. Um, these look pretty good. They're all in, uh, in screw downs, and they are recessed, which is great. He used the same brand of screw down for everything. So complete set here. This might be worth selling as a partial set. I, pro I might even leave them in the screw downs. I'd need to go into card ladder to see if any of these other showstoppers in PSA 10 are worth grading. Usually... Um, it's not worth the risk, but we'll, uh, we'll just stack them and see what happens. Grant Hill. God dang, man. These are stuck. Grant Hill, Glenn Robinson, uh, you know, Penny. That's a good looking Barkley card, huh? That's a cool, that's a cool one right there. Barkley Showstoppers. Ewing's old ass. 
there. Uh, okay, well, this is things just took a turn for the stranger. Um, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> Paul's, what, uh, a 1973 Paul Silas <laughs> in a top loader um, in a pity sleeve, and then a 1973 guy named Art Williams. Okay, and so as I've mentioned many times before, uh, Bob is a big Celtics fan and a big UConn fan. So Paul Silas, when he was on the Celtics, he was a terrible coach for the – uh, for the Hornets slash Pelicans in New Orleans. And then Art Williams uh, was apparently a Celtic, even though I've never heard of the dude. So uh, Paul Silas and Art Williams, for if there's any Celtic super collectors out there, probably not a lot of value there. That's weird. Uh, a Jim McMahon uh, football card. I remember him. He's a crazy quarterback. Sort of a Johnny Manziel before his time. Not the way he played, but the way he acted. Uh, looks like a rookie. I don't know. Um, it actually looks like it's in pretty good condition. It's probably PSA 8, PSA 9. That's weird. A football card snuck in here. Oh, okay. Got some interesting stuff in here. Well, this is going to be weird, dude. Uh, another pulse. Oh, here we go. We got a John Havlicek um, that's really beat up. This is not in good condition. This is a PSA 3 or 4. 1972 Havlicek. Um, not that most handsome guy around. Didn't really spend a lot of time on hair care or... Uh, or hairstyle. <laughs> so we got a little, I don't even know what kind of stacks to put these in. Let's just go, uh, let's just put all the, let's put the vintage stuff away up here. That's weird. And then another Paul Silas. So like I said, Celtics, Celtics, Celtics. So it's cool. We're pulling some vintage stuff out of there. That's kind of cool. Uh, we got a Scotty Pippen, like a third year card that has absolutely no value at all. Uh, a Magic 88 Fleer, which looks to be, um, a PSA 9, maybe a PSA 8, just depending. Centering isn't uh, isn't the worst. So this is a card. I'm going to put it here. That's a card that I need to look at about grading. Uh, I don't think a PSA 4 Havlicek is going to be worth grading or PSA whatever they decide to do to me. It's it's pretty beat up. So, yeah, this, this looks like so far the only card that I definitely need to look at. And even that in a PSA 8 is not going to have any value. And now this is where shit is about to get cool. Okay, so you guys see the potential of the cross country collection here. Uh, I'll be sending all these. Uh, they grade well, uh, hot numbers as we know, we've discussed it on the channel many times. We talked about it in the hierarchy. These are lenticular surfaces and uh, it looks like a complete set. I've sent the Jordan off already and uh, of course I own a Jordan 10 and an eight already, but this is the Rodman. Uh, this is the Trell right here. Uh, we have got uh, Chris Weber. We have got the great round mound of rebound, Sir Charles Barkley. We have got uh, Grant Hill. We have got Eddie Jones, who always pisses me off because it always looks. You see how he looks like he's out in front of the numbers? That's why. That's that's lenticular. That's what's cool about it. Uh, so there's one, two, three, six from the set. Those will go uh, here um, to be graded, probably. I think probably. I think a PSA ten in any of those would make sense. Uh, we've got uh, Sean Kemp, the Rain Man, hot numbers. The Jason Kidd, hot numbers. The Child Molester, hot numbers. The Giddy of his time, although Giddy's going to be all right, it sounds like. Uh, Alonzo Mourning, hot numbers. And I have got, okay, like I said, you never know what you're going to get. Sports Shots Collector Book 8, Larry Bird, and Sports Shots Collector Book 7, David Robinson. What is happening in here? It's just a book. Oh, it's just a book talking about Bird. That's kind of cool. And then a book, Sports Car Collector Book, maybe for little kids. Uh, Scholastic down there. I probably would have ordered these from the, um, uh, what do they call those, weekly readers? No, what do they call those things? Um book fairs and stuff that we used to have at our school when we were little kids. So I'll put that up there with uh, other weird stuff to come. Oh, here's something really weird. That's an Earl Monroe tall boy, right? It's an Earl Monroe tall boy. Again, not in great condition. Uh, so probably uh, not a lot of value here, even though Earl the Pearl, I was named after Earl Monroe. So a lot of people don't know this. I'm going to share it with the world. My middle name is Monroe. Um, named after Earl the Pearl because my dad had swag for a white dude that was born in Louisville. He had swag and he had a little bit of of, of, uh, of junk to his game. He was actually a really good basketball player and um, obviously uh, nudged me in the direction of playing uh, playing basketball. So um, 
I attribute a lot of my basketball ability to him and the way I was brought up. And growing up in Louisville, Kentucky, you you know, you had to play basketball. So I played basketball. But I was named after Earl of Pearl. So pretty cool story there. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll add that to our vintage section. But I don't think that's going to be worth grading at all. Uh, more slabs. Um, a Scotty Pippen member's choice. That's not going to have any value. And then a completely random upper deck magic. I'm not sure why. Bob thought those needed to go in um, screw downs. And now some stuff's in top loaders and some stuff's in screw downs. A random Pippin, a random Magic, uh, a Penny Classic rookie, which, which is acetate, but it looks like it's yellowed. That's not going to have any value. Kukoc, same thing. I'm going to put it over here, but I don't think those are going to be worth – here, I'm going to put these here. I, I don't think those are going to be worth grading. Another Chris Weber rookie from some random – that's classic also – and then a Shaquille Hoops. Centering doesn't look great. Uh, pocket pages, Shaquille O'Neal. These I got to look up because some of these weird random, you know, some of these look like customs, but they grade them, and it just depends if PSA grades them. And some of these weird ones, like I know the big blue, like Kentucky bluegrass or big blue or whatever it's called, has like crazy value for Shaq. So I don't know. I don't know enough about it to dismiss it. We'll check it out. Uh, and then two more. This is the Skybox rookies. Two more Skybox rookies for Shaq. Just kind of hope they're in as good a condition as you can get. This one's really bad top edge, so that's not going to be worth grading. Shaq majored in business at Louisiana State. Yes, that is correct. Uh, this one looks to be better. This one looks like um, it's definitely been beat up at the top. So this one's not going to be worth grading, but I'll put them both over here so we can look at those. Uh, more. Some more penny sleeve and top loader cards here. Nothing here, nothing special. Uh, from way downtown with, uh, looks like Dan Patrick talking about Allen Iverson. Iverson is destined for greatness. This looks like a second year Allen Iverson card, so that's not going to have any value. That doesn't have any value. That is a Michael Doliak rookie. For those of you who don't remember, he was a standout at Utah. Uh, Michael Doliak. Uh, and then had a journeyman's career in the NBA. Why is Tyrone hit? Are these? Is this like, am I missing something here? Why did Bob put these in, in here? What in the world is happening? Oh, it's numbered. Okay, so we've got a uh, a Tyrone Hill Stadium Club, but it's numbered. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Number twenty two out of one fifty. Interesting. Hmm. Wait, is that Ty? Yeah, that is Tyrone Hill. Yep. Doliak's probably not going to go. Uh, Hobby Masters with some cracked ice action in the background. A Hobby Masters Chris Weber. I don't know a thing about it. Uh, not serial numbered. It was $10 at the time. It's probably less than $10 right now. But I'm going to put it over here. It says refractor, but I don't know if I'd call this a refractor. It just looks like some cracked ice from Tops. Hobby Masters. Interesting. Uh, a Maestro's Finest. This is uh, Mitch Richmond. This is a refractor. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's not a 10 because it's off center. How about this? Star Power Plus Sharif. Hard to find these in good condition. That's worth looking at for sure. I'm going to put that here because it's uh, raw. Here's a throwback Stockton <clears throat> from that decade of excellence, right? That's cool. Well, that's what he should have had. He should have had a card in 86, but this is what his 87 card would look like. But this is from 97, right? Because this is that decade of excellence thing. Damn, somebody, you paid $10 for that thing. Um this Mitch Richmond uh, Maestros, uh, I don't think it's going to cut it, but we'll put it over there and check value just in case. Uh, Chris Weber, oh my gosh, guys, limited, limited, one of 74,500 printed. Wow. Penny Hardaway, one of 74,500. Jamal Mashburn, one of 74,500. J.R., Isaiah J.R. Ryder, Vin Baker, all college uniform. Unfortunately, not going to be a lot of value over there. Put these showstoppers over here because you never know. I am almost through. Okay, so now this this last batch that I just grabbed is going to be the rest of uh, row one of a two row box. Lindsey Hunter, Rodney Rogers. There's a Ku Coach in his European uniform. I love hearing the stories about Ku Coach. You know. We heard the same stories about Sabonis. We hear the same stories about Doncic. Doncic living up to it. And there's a shot. What brand is this? This is classic also. Uh, the Shaq I'll probably look at. Uh, it needs to be fantastic. It needs to be in fantastic condition. 
It's just not, it's just not rare. <laughs> 74,500 is not a small number. And this looks like spark plugs. I don't think, yeah, especially not being in this plastic case and traveling all over the world, I don't think any of these are gonna be grade worthy. In fact, you can see the top left corner. And this is the risk you take when you buy a raw collection sight unseen and you just don't know. I mean, it's hard to preserve cards for 30, 40 years, but um, all the corners are bent upwards. So this would be a, you know, a cool raw set for somebody to put in a binder or something like that. I mean, these are, you know, good condition by most people's standards, but like you can see the top left corners on each one of these is curled a bit. And so those are those are uh, certainly not going to be grade worthy, but there's a bunch of those in there. Reggie, I've never seen the Reggie spark plugs. It's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so that was row one, row two. Uh, we've got the uh, the Pro Vision. That's definitely not going to be worth taking out. None of that's. Oh my God. Pro Vision with Jordan, fifty dollars. Is the Jordan still in here? This is. Uh, I think that is what they call concave. Am I wrong? What do y'all think? Let's see if they're sticking. They're not sticking, and there is a Jordan, but it's way off center. So I will flatten it with a heavy box, and then there's Barkley. God, Barkley was uh, done a lot of favors there. He is not that good looking, uh, or that lean, <laughs> for that matter. Uh, Ewing, why well, they pick the right guy? That looks nothing like Carl Malone, and that really does not look like Magic Johnson. I have seen Magic Johnson many times. That is not him. Um, anyway, that's that. We'll throw the Jordan um, God dang. We'll throw the Jordan in a uh, penny sleeve and top loader after we flatten it and throw it over there to the side. All right, let's keep going. Uh, more screw downs, more screw downs. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, I think we're going to have some really cool stuff coming up in a second. This is, I'll be honest with you all, this is pretty fun, even though we're not finding tons of value. Uh, four sport draft pick Shaq. Again, I don't know enough about all the different Shaq cards to know. Um, you know, some of them do have value if they're PSA 10s. Uh, even though they were very highly printed. Who is this? Oh, that's that girl keeper. Uh, girl, I say, I say keeper. You can tell I'm a soccer guy. That's that girl hockey goalie. That's not going to have any value. This is uh, limited to only 60000 in case you were wondering. Weber rookie. Uh, girl goalie here. Right there. Another Shaq. I don't know if there are any. Oh, my God. How about this? How about that? A Celtics star team bag. How awesome is that? That is freaking awesome. And, dude, I'm telling you right now, that ain't the worst bird I've seen. And centering is always the issue. That ain't the, that ain't the worst bird I've seen. Uh, I have to do some research to see, is this, a, is this something you keep in a team bag? Or is this uh, not a team bag, but the distribution bag? Or is this something that you bust out and grade? I don't know the answer to that question. And are these real would be the other question. I don't know. I don't know if that's what the backs look like or not. I don't know enough about Star. So, uh that's gonna go separate right there. I gotta think about that. Well, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Cartoon Weber that looks absolutely, I mean, it looks more like Tyrone Hill than Chris Weber. Horrible, uh, horrible work right there. Uh, we got some more cards and penny sleeves and top loaders. Uh, NBA Schoolyard Stars, Pippen, Rodman, a Bird Member's Choice, uh, UConn, Connecticut Women's Basketball, UConn, Connecticut Men's Basketball in 92. That's Scott Burrell. If I'm, is that Scott Burrell? I think that's Scott Burrell. Oh, it's women front, men back. Okay, so I don't know what that is. There. Um, we keep pulling these up. Oh, yeah, here's the rest of the hot numbers. Okay, here we go. Uh, God dang, come on, man. Uh, Matumbo. Elijah Wan. See how he moves and he's kind of like out in front of the numbers. If you kind of look at it at the right angle, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do it as best I can. Uh, and then Big Dog out of Purdue, National Player of the Year. Uh, another 88 Magic Fleer. That one looks really freaking good, by the way. If there's no surface issues, I can't tell. Oh, there's a bad right edge. Real bad right edge, if y'all can tell. It's going to be hard to see in this uh, screw down, but it doesn't look good. Uh, a decent looking 87 magic. That's probably worth grading. It's not centered, but it's probably a PSA eight. Does a PSA eight magic 87 work? That's a Robert Parrish rookie people. That is definitely a Robert Parrish rookie. I recognize this one for sure. Um, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know what a PSA seven or a PSA six Robert Parrish, uh, rookie card goes for, but it's worth looking at, right? Oh my God. What's the deal with the 88 Fleer magics? Another magic. 
This one looks tremendous. This one looks tremendous right here. This will be fun, other than the fact that i got to unscrew all these. Uh, and now we're talking, right? Oh, this one's kind of curled up in the top right. This Kareem seen better days. It's scoring magnets, Kareem. Scoring magnets, Jason Kidd. This is a really good-looking insert set, y'all. Uh, all of them are sort of color match, sort of. Uh, the magic one, if it's in here, it really is awesome looking. Another one, uh, Penny, scoring magnets. These are not easy to pull, either. Grant Hill scoring magnets, and they check the boxes of, of pulling the right guys. You know how I used to always talk about imposters? Uh, they, they chose the right guys here. Uh, David Robinson scoring magnets. Well, those are definitely worth looking at. How about this? How about this sneaking into my, uh, sneaking into my life? It's just this Kevin Costner rookie right here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This Danny Ainge, right? And for those of you who didn't collect, this is an 81 uh, Fleer, right? Yeah, 81 Fleer, Danny Ainge rookie. For those of you who didn't know, he was a, a, actually a, a Major League Baseball player. And so he started by playing for the Blue Jays. And uh, <clears throat> let's see, was in Syracuse. <laughs> he got called up. What did he bat? 237 and 243. Uh, good choice, Danny. Good choice, Danny. Um, okay. Jam City Hot Packs. It looks like a complete set. The Jordan's not going to be in here because I think he's pulled the Jordan from all of these. But this is what's left of the uh, the Jam City, and it's all hot packs variation. So that's going to be cool. I'm not going to take them out because I don't want to damage them. These are cards that I will need to uh, take out and then uh, calculate on card ladder. Same thing, total of hot packs, all hot packs. This is awesome. These are going to be fun to go through. Ten card set. The Jordans won't be in there. I'm pretty sure they won't. I'll look, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be in there because I've already seen them. Uh, all right, more more penny sleeves and uh, top loader cards. Uh, Bobby Mercer, for some reason. <laughs> What's going on there? Um, 81 Bird Archibald Celtics card. I don't think that's going to have any value, but we'll put it there. Uh, just a regular Shaq second year. I think it's 93 hoops, right? 93 tops, sorry. Tops Gold Pippin. Tops Gold Pippin. Um, Jason Williams, Rookie Phenom from Upper Deck. Making sure none of these are numbered because I don't know anything about Upper Deck Encore. Here's a Shaq Base, 93 Finest. That's a card that's worth looking at. It's not centered. I don't think there's a lot of value in the base. Uh, Shaq PSA 8, PSA 9. Weber, same thing. Uh, hold on. This will be Weber's rookie, and it's centered, so that's worth looking at for sure. That is Weber's rookie, right? Nothing here. Nothing on this Rebecca Lobo. Um, Grant Hill, rookie with the autograph script. Congratulations from Skybox International. Uh, it looks like something's in the way on here. I don't know what that is. Let's look at that. That might be something. Uh, and then a Jason Kidd. I don't think that's going to have any rookie. SE109. That would have to be perfect. It does look good. Hmm. All right. Still moving along. All the rest of these are penny sleeves, top loaders, and then weird shit like this. Jennifer Ozzie. Uh, this looks like the women's... Uh, yeah, this looks like the women's Olympic team, which I don't, I don't have too much interest in that. No offense. Um, top stars. Bird. Bird. Remember, Bob's a huge... Celtics and a huge bird collector. Now, I think this is the difference between top finest, um, top finest stars and just top stars is the little stars in the background and it's a little more chromium feeling. So we'll look at that bird. That's nothing there. Mark McGuire, Little League baseball graduate. This looks like a fake card, but you never know. So we'll put it over here. Uh, oh, wow. We got some autographics. This is the stuff, man. How cool is this? The great, late, great Bobby Phils from here at Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Played at Southern. Uh, Howard Isley. Uh, a Donald Foyle. And Hot Rod Williams. Also from uh, Louisiana, right? And then I don't know what I'm looking at. Is this a is this 98 Metal Universe? What is this? Oh, it's, a, it's an insert. What is it? What is this? I don't know what this is. It's an insert from, I think, 98 Metal Universe. So that we'll check out just in case. There's a Rodman base, right? 
Metal Universe Base Rodman from 98. Card number 16. It's in pretty good condition. Uh, Scotty Pippen, Metal Universe Championship, right? Mm hmm. Wouldn't it be something if there was a PMG in here? Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't it just. Wouldn't it be something? Uh, Skybox Premium, Grant Hill. No, nothing there. Liftoff. Oh, this is that Atomic Refractor. The, I've seen these cards. There's a Kobe floating around out there, PSA 10, that's really awesome. And this is a Liftoff Kerry Kittles. I don't think there's going to be much value there, but and that's that's definitely got no value. Put that there. I mean, this is not... Let me make sure this is not... I'm not missing something here. It's not a Rubies. Uh, never Compromise. Two Never Compromise Pippins. I mean, if those look like 10s, they're probably worth grading, Maybe. Stadium Club Garnets. I think these are just uh, just base, though. Yeah, these aren't going to be. And they're not rookies. It's like 98 or something like that. Yeah. Just base Stadium Club. The Stadium Clubs this year look special because it's kind of like foily down here at the bottom, so they look you know, better than they are. Same thing, Ray Allen. Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's going to be – who's on the back? Ah, Grant. Okay, so front, Sharif, back, Grant Hill. You guys have seen this in the MJ hierarchy. Of course, it's Jordan and Kobe, so it's a little different. I don't think there's any value there, but we'll put it there just to be safe. Uh, I got about two handfuls left. That's what she said, or he said, or somebody said. Uh, Pippin, finest base, Pippin, finest base. Uh, oh, there's a Jordan um, ghost card. That's Jordan trying to block Kendall Gill's shot. So I'm going to put that in my Jordan ghost card stack. That's a separate stack. I've got a big ghost card Jordan stack. Oh, my gosh. We about we just hit gold. We just hit gold, baby. Uh, here's a Gary Payton. Uh, upper deck forces, serial number to 1,000. That's cool. And that's not the gold that I'm talking about. That's a cool card, though. Uh, it's right here. It's right here. How many of these are there? Is there only one in here? Yeah, there's only one. Okay, so we've got one. This is the Jordan and the Barkley. We've seen these. I've sent about 10 or 12 of these off. They're serial number to 2300. It's the Jordan holding court red. Barkley front, Jordan back. I think I've sent off an Iverson. I sent off a Tim Duncan. How about this? We got the Ewing front, Jordan back. Let's take it out of these plastic cases. If I can get it out. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying not to damage the card. These are very condition sensitive on the edges. Like the edges really chip. They're, they're made of wood. And so, uh, I mean, I guess it's real wood. It feels like real wood. That's what she said. All right. Let's keep going. Weird stuff, man. I got some weird shit going on. Uh, that's a Vince Carter card that's numbered to 10. Damn. Isn't 98 his rookie? Is that really numbered to 10? Holy shit. I feel like this might be something. Vince Carter, SP, it's Carolina. Centering looks good. The card looks okay. It looks like serial number 3 out of 10, unless it's March 10th. That's something I'm going to look up right away. Uh, that's a very low number. We've got some Twan, Antoine Walker, Star Power. That's serial numbered to 5,400. Sorry, not too much value there. There's the Grant Hill, serial numbered to... 5,000. I looked up the Jordans, and the Jordans even weren't worth that much, so I know these guys are not going to be worth grading. How about this Unstoppable? Pippin. Unstoppable. Probably worth looking. This is the card that folds out. It opens up, right? Uh, we got an Iverson gold medallion, right? Yep. Gold medallion. Allen Iverson. This is cool. Am I lying? Did I, did I not tell you guys this box is going to be fun as hell? This, this is all over the place, man. This is a 90 collector's dream all over the place we got a tim duncan ex century that's cool is that a rookie year what is that 97 or 98 99 i don't know what this is he plays got a year on there so it's probably not a rookie um okay that's nice wasn't expecting to pull this out of there oh, that's jam iverson how cool is that gosh you just gotta like i'm almost getting anxiety just praying that these are in good condition I had a That's Jam Kobe, but it was in awful condition, and I couldn't grade it. That's a card I'd like to look up because I know that's going to be a card that I grade no matter what the what the deal is. This is a gold label base. Yeah, I wish it was a black or a red label. Red label would be awesome, but uh, just a gold label. But even the gold label base, they look like – look at that. You see the moisture in there? This card's been in here too long. Can y'all – I'm trying to see if y'all can see those. Like, You see it right there, the moisture? It just like – 
All these gold label cards, when you pull them out of penny sleeves and top loaders after they've been in there for three decades, they leave, uh, it, you can't get it out. I have to cut it out with scissors and be real careful. Uh, Vince Carter, that's a rookie. If I'm not mistaken, 98, right? It's got his Carolina stats on the back, I think. I think that's a rookie, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be definitely worth looking at. Uh, a Tim Duncan, I've seen these before. These are called Triumvirates as well, I think. Uh huh. Yeah, Triumvirate 11A. So Tim Duncan, why is it? Duncan, Garnett, and Abdul Rahim. So we'll see. Maybe that. I think that might be. Uh, another Garnett, just a base here. Nothing. I don't think I'm missing anything there. And then uh, Sean Kemp Triumvirate as well. Now, some of these, I don't know if they're the same where some are Illuminators and some are Luminous. It's a, it is. Luminous. So that's the base right there. See? Illuminator. I didn't even really honestly know there was different years of, uh, of this. So Illuminator is the rare one with the crazy pack odds. Sean Kemp. Pretty cool. We'll see. Try to keep that in decent condition. And uh, I got one more handful here for y'all, fellas. It's pretty fun to go through boxes like this, I'll be quite honest with you. I know I'm bitching a lot about how much work it is, but it's pretty freaking fun. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're really freaking talking. Luminescent Shack, the middle. There's the middle one. It's a refractor. How cool is that? That's going to be so fun to grade. It's going to make... Remember, all these cards you're seeing, you know, again, I've put 80 cards over here. I might send 25 off for grading, but that's going to be a fun-ass mail day. I mean, I'm going to send uh, a Star Power Plus, Sharif Abdul Rahim, quite likely, as long as it's in good condition. There's almost no question I'm going to send that. And Hot Stuff Rodman and just diff Hot Numbers Rodman, different stuff like that. That's a first-class... Uh, SP Vince rookie, if I'm not mistaken. Some cool Vince stuff. There's a Corey Benjamin on card autograph. Remember, Bob was a big Connecticut collector and a big Celtics collector. Celtics, I don't know what this is. Upper Deck Century Legends. This ain't numbered, is it? No, it's kind of a cool color match. Shaq Generations. That means it's, yeah, I was about to say it's going to be Wilt on the back check that out because I like Shaq. Vince Van Horn and Bird. Uh, there's a Kinetics Jason Williams. I wonder if that's a rookie. I don't know enough about it. Yeah, it is. It's a rookie. So I did well on the Jason Williams category selling that uh, Ruby so quick in the game. Uh, Upper Deck Legends, Irving, Epic Milestones. Cool. I know that's got no value. <laughs> Rip Hamilton MVP base. Uh, this doesn't have any value here. Oh, wow. Wow. A power deck Julius Irving. I don't think I've ever seen. I, I'll be honest with you. The only power decks I've ever even seen is the Jordan. How about this? A power deck Julius Irving. I'll be honest with you. That's probably something that I'll send to PSA or BGS because it's a low grade. You know, it depends on the scratches. The Jordan was a disaster. And you can see scratches everywhere, but I'm hoping it's on the case. No, I can't get it out. That's what she said. Let's see. All right. I got it. Let's see if those scratches are on the, uh, it's just too hard to tell. It might not come out easy either. That's what she said. I keep, I'm sorry. I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, uh, I got a bad edge over here, but I don't know how anybody keeps these things in good condition. Cause you could tell Bob took it out of a pack, put it straight in here and then put it straight in this. And it's still, I mean, it's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna leave it right there. So. That's it, guys. That's the end of that box. But you got to admit, that was pretty cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I got I got power decks everywhere. Jason Williams. Paul Pierce. Shaq power deck. No way. We got a Ray Allen. Serial numbered the 1500 die cut. What is this? Next wave. Quantum. Is that a rookie? I don't know, man. I don't know what year it is. Uh, another Jason Williams, rookie encore, but I don't think that's serial numbered, so it's probably not going to have too much going for it. Uh, here's an autographed Jalen Rose sign of the times uh, with his number on there, which will probably go to BGS, even though it's like, oof, this looks rough. It looks like it's in very rough condition. That might not be going anywhere, but we'll put it over there just in case. How about a sign of the times, Horace Grant? How cool. No idea if there's any value whatsoever right there. This is Dennis Rodman. Kind of looked like Kobe at first, but it's not. It's Dennis Rodman, SP Authentic. 
autographs. Michael Olawa Candy, SP. Richard Lewis, that's a cool one. Olawa Candy's probably not great. Where the Richard Lewis might be. Kevin Garnett, SP. Kevin Garnett, SP. Jason Williams, rookie effects, serial numbered. Don't think there's any value, but we'll throw it over there just in case. He's got to be a rookie. Sometimes you can just tell it's a rookie card just by the way they look in the picture. Paul Pierce, serial number to 2,500. Rookie card. Anyway. All right, now I'm really done. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys had as much fun as I did. Not much Jordan stuff in here. Again, we got these two holding courts. These don't have huge value, but I'm going to get them slab and graded because I don't have them, so they're just going to be added to my collection. And then, of course, somehow i got to flatten out this his pro vision and just put it in a penny sleeve and top loader. Uh, not a ton of value on this card when it's off center. If it's a 10, it's got something to it, but that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby and peace.